Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'll guide you through the process of installing Kali Linux version 2023.4 seamlessly on VirtualBox. Whether you're on Windows 10 or the latest Windows 11, this tutorial has got you covered. Let's dive in. To begin, open your Chrome browser and search for VirtualBox. Click on the first link, which will direct you to virtualbox.org. From there, locate the download button on the left-hand side and click on it to access the download page. Currently, VirtualBox is available for Windows hosts, Mac OS, Linux, and various other operating systems. Let's proceed by selecting Windows Host, which will initiate the download of the latest VirtualBox version compatible with Windows. Once VirtualBox is downloaded, you'll also need to get the VirtualBox extension pack. Simply scroll down and you'll find the VirtualBox extension pack option right there. Click on All Supported Platforms and the download should start automatically. Now we need to download Kali Linux, open a new tab, and go to Kali.org. Click on Download. Currently, there are two methods available for installing Kali Linux. One option is to utilize the installer image, while the other involves using the pre-built virtual machine image. If your priority is to swiftly set up your Kali Linux environment, I suggest opting for the virtual machine image, which comes with everything pre-configured. However, if you prefer a more hands-on approach and want to customize your installation from scratch, the installer image is the way to go. In this video, I'll be walking you through how to use the pre-built virtual machine image. If you want to utilize the installer image with your preferred settings, click on the card above or refer to the video description. I also made a video on that. We're going to start with the pre-built virtual machines. So let's click on the virtual machines and it should take you down here. Now we're going to select VirtualBox since we are installing on VirtualBox and it should start downloading. Now let's kick off the installation process. First, let's close our browser and navigate to our download folder. Here we have VirtualBox, the VirtualBox extension pack, and the pre-built Kali Linux virtual image for VirtualBox. Our first step is to install VirtualBox. Double click on it. Proceed by clicking Next, then Next again, followed by selecting Yes twice, and finally clicking on Install. All right, VirtualBox installation is complete. Now simply uncheck this box and click Finish. After completing the VirtualBox installation, return to our download folder. Now it's time to install the extension pack. Simply double click on the VirtualBox extension pack file. This action will open it within VirtualBox. Once prompted to install the extension pack, click on Install, scroll down to accept the terms, and proceed with the installation. To confirm the successful installation, simply click on the VirtualBox icon located on the side then navigate to Extensions. You'll find the extension pack right there. Now, let's return to the Welcome page. Next, navigate back to our download folder. We'll need to extract the Kali Linux VirtualBox file, so right-click on it and select Extract. You can now access the extracted folder here, where you'll find two files. One is the disk image file, and the other is the file we'll use to add it to VirtualBox. Simply double click on the VirtualBox machine definition file, which is approximately 3 kilobytes. This action should automatically add it to VirtualBox, and you'll see Kali Linux 2023.4 listed in VirtualBox. Now let's navigate to Settings, and then proceed to the System tab. Here, the base memory displayed corresponds to your RAM, which you can adjust as needed. In my scenario, I'll be increasing it to approximately 6 GB. However, it's essential to note that you shouldn't allocate more than 40% of your total RAM to the virtual machine, as this could potentially slow down your computer. In my case, with 16 GB of RAM, assigning 6 GB keeps me comfortably under the 40% threshold. Similarly, 
For the processor, I'll allocate three CPUs since my system supports up to eight. Afterward, navigate to the display settings and enable 3D acceleration. Click OK to confirm. Now simply click on Start to initiate our virtual machine and wait for a while. The default username is Kali, with the password Kali as well, though you can customize these credentials at a later time. And that's it. Installation completed successfully. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and turning on post notifications. Thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.